Welcome to EIP Editor Apprenticeship Meeting 23. We are joined by Sam Wilson here today, and uh, we would be going through some of the pull requests. Agenda is shared in chat, and the first item listed here is EIP 712, move to final. So over to you, Sam. Hey, okay. So what do we got going on here? Um, okay. So this is going to file, so we want to pay extra attention to it. Um, but it literally looks like there are no changes, so this should be pretty quick. All right. There we go. I think this proposal was long pending to be moved to final. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Um, I'm just making sure everything looks good here. Um, let me do this and this. Just pulling up EIP one here, so I have uh, the reference. Okay. Uh, Okay, specification. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with this one. It looks fairly complete. So let's go take a look at the check runs. I don't know, but I have a feeling like uh, there was one comment I saw somewhere by you uh, in which you mentioned William Schwab to be moved as author because he was posting, is it possible to check if there is any other open pull request related to this proposal? Uh, we can take a look. I don't... Uh... And sort by. Are you talking about this one here? Um, so this is 21 hours ago, no, not that one. Yeah, the last one. Um, oh, it's merged. Yeah, yeah, there was there was one moving yes. last call to final that was merged, so. Or at last move, last. but this one, yeah, yeah. So I think this one's probably fine. Let's take a look at the checks, make sure everything ran. Yeah, I mean, seems fine. Oh, we're still running EIP validator. We should probably get rid of that. I don't think we need it anymore. Something to do. Okay, so I think I'm okay moving this to final. Okay. Cool. So let's move on to the next one. Okay. No comments here. So. God, that's a long description. Mm -hmm. All right. So again, because this one's changing state, it's probably worth giving it a bit more of a thorough review. Um, there, okay, good enough. So compound tokens, that seems fine. All right, proposed the standard API for compound tokens. Oh God, they mentioned Thunder Fury. That's, that's funny. Um, Good thing is we just um, merged seven to one in final, which is there in records here. 
Oh, it requires both of them. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Specification. Uh, must implement. Yeah. So I don't know if we have a formal rule about this, but this isn't code, so it shouldn't be in a um, like backticks like that. And they're just putting it in backticks to get uh, EIPW to shut up about it. Um, yeah, so I guess that's probably a comment that I should make. Um, Uh, four, Okay, there are a couple of history. All right, so what else have we got here? Okay, the right license, that's fine. That is a densely packed blob of solidity. Um, EAP 712, signature. Um, All right, so the, the rest of this seems, pro. oh, uh, there's a few other ones. Deep 712, Deep 165, and Deep 721. Okay, oh, there, oh, that looks pretty good now. So we'll just put this up. Do I have, uh, oh, I think I do have um, contributor permissions now. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. I was yeah. about to ask, like, has it been done yet or not? Cool. All right. Um, then we have this one here. Oh my God, a lot of comments on this one. Um, so this one has been merged as final recently. I believe they are trying to push some final changes to a final proposal. Oh, okay. Good thing we have the author on call now. <laughs> okay, good. Just FYI, <laughs> yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, it's kind of um, lots of comments uh, I'll go back and through because of some uh, changes that are needed by the CI pipeline to be completed. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I agree that um, there are lots of comments, uh, but we have done most of the restructuring on the part of grammatical errors on the part of uh, also um, the EIP-1 compatibility and things like that. 
Okay. So, yeah, I mean, if so, uh, is there anything? Was, yeah. yeah, is there anything outstanding on here that you still need to do, or is it good to re-review? Re so uh, there were uh, uh, issues in the um, CI pipeline uh, that needed us to create another uh, PR where I because we deleted the reference implementation. Our reference implementation uh, changed significantly. So I think it was Mika who said that uh, it's better to not reference it if it's uh, unstable. Like there are lots of changes in the, uh, the implementation. It will be difficult for any other reader to uh, implement it on their site. So we removed that. And as we removed that and accordingly all the assets that were uh, referenced, um, I think CI uh, pipelines uh, mentioned this error that uh, you are doing a change to final and at the same time you are deleting some information. So uh, there were there was one another PR that we did to just do this change of deleting the assets. Okay. And then uh, once that is uh, merged, I think it's five three nine nine, which is referred within this. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I should start with this one then. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, I still don't have permission to merge it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Oh, you don't? <laughs> nope. I can close it and open it, but I can't merge it. <laughs> okay. Let me um, check with them. Yeah, so that's just deleting. Um, just yeah. a suggestion for now, like whatever uh, PR we are looking at, right now and you don't have permission so just we do not forget about it you can just leave a comment uh, for matt to maybe able to merge and i will follow up with the team to get to you the access so you'll be able to do it in future okay yeah i'll, I'll leave this open and then uh, i'll come back to that okay so we'll skip this one for now we'll come back to that um, once this other one gets merged, Sounds yeah, like Sam, uh, even with, oh, no problem. Yeah. All right. Now, this is another weird one with some Git problems. So, yeah, I think we're still waiting on the author to, uh, oh, okay. So it's not, it's not nearly as bad now. Um, state merge okay so the funny thing is this proposal is also final yep uh, on <laughs> repository and the pull request that they are saying that somehow suggests that it is not in final yeah oh yeah okay so it's <laughs> <laughs> it still says last call on this one. So, and 12.71, P12.71. Yeah, so it's, that's so weird. Okay, so this, this one's still in some weird state. So, um, I guess I'll just leave a comment on it. Okay, so we'll just leave that one, and I think that's this one here.
Yeah, so this one doesn't have author approval, so we can't really do anything with it. Um, yeah, so we'll just leave this one. It's waiting for author approval. Okay. Is there a label we can put on it for that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We are waiting. Yeah. What to do here? Yeah, I don't. I don't have a problem with making this change. I think it's probably. Yeah, I think that's good. But we do need the author to approve. So we'll leave that one. Okay. Just another final change. No, oh, it's stagnant. Okay. All right, so Who's uh who's making this? Oh, it is so it is the author. Um, okay, so um, Okay, the bot error that is about the commit number not matching. Uh, this one here, like the uh, GitHub. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is yeah, because yeah. of uh, it's because of these. So it's missing uh, security considerations. It's missing the description. Um, it's like these little EIPW errors here. So that's why it has that little uh, comment. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I believe because uh, this new bot, uh, I have seen this comment uh, often on the uh, um, on pull request that they have to fix the bot error, especially related to I guess EAPW. So he's trying to understand. Yeah, yeah, it's just uh, any time the um, uh, the checks fail, it posts that comment. Mm -hmm. Quite descriptive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, so we're on this one here. All right. Yeah, so I think uh, Panda has done a good job covering this. Um, not much else to say. Yeah. So because they are saying I don't know what to do. Like, you know, uh, that's not my error. So yeah, is, is it final or is it? Yeah, oh, it's final. OK. A Rails comment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So maybe they can use some help more, like how yeah. they can fix it. Well, I think because it's a final EIP, I don't think there's um, I don't I don't think it's useful to change. Um, yeah. Two hundred is already final. Yeah. Apparently. Ah. Yeah. Oh, now I remember Vitang, like he, he was long back, yeah, 2018, yes. Yeah, okay, so I will probably, um, <sighs> so, 
I mean, changing these to bulleted or to numbered lists is nice, but I don't think it's necessary to update it. So I'm, I'm going to recommend not doing that. Um, that is correct. I mean, yeah. if there is any change in uh, text or any description that makes sense to make pushes to final proposal, if not. Yeah, yeah. Avoid, uh, changing to final proposal. Yeah. Um, Sam, there is a question in chat oh, uh, sure. by the author. So uh, the question is for EIP 3475. Uh, there are two open pull requests, uh, 5385 and 5399. Will there be notes of the issues so that authors and reviewers are on the same page? Um, oh, uh, yeah. So I guess. Uh, once we get the deletion one sorted out, then we can go back to um, the five three eight five. So yeah, w w once I can actually you know force the PR to go through and remove the reference implementation, then I can go back and review the other one. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, okay. Yeah, indeed. Uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's fine. Uh, we we will be uh, uh, replying you know rapidly, so no worries. Okay. So just in case. Uh, yeah, that's the next steps if needed from our side. Yeah, I think it's all just uh, CI stuff on our side right now. Um, yeah. Sounds good. Thanks. And looks like uh, 20, changes for 2200 is now closed by. Yep. Yeah, I closed that one. Okay. Sorry, I'm just catching up on all the comments here. Um... Not a problem. All right, let's go see the body of this. Okay, so changing the title and description, that's fine. Adding links, that's also fine. Um, this proposal 4626, I think I have seen multiple revision after it is moved to final. Yeah, yeah, it, it is final. Um, they're just cleaning up some formatting errors and then adding this note here. So it is a should and not a must. So that's uh, technically correct, I guess. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. So what we leave off on this? We had Panda Pip saying that. Okay, so I think that all that's fine. We go over here. And I think the only change that they really made was, yeah, it's a non-relative link, non-relative link. But changing that would be changing a final EIP. Everything else is non-normative, I think. Okay, 
So, um, PR should So I think I'm okay with approving this. All right, so that's 4626. And the license checker, let's go take a peek at that. All right, so I think this is more of an EIP IP uh, meeting topic. Okay, um, I'll move it. Yeah, just because this, like, it's not really about the content of EIPs. Um, okay, I can move that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we got this one here. Um, I found this also more of EIP IP meeting, but I thought let's take it here first. Yeah, I'll take a peek at it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I mean. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of putting Discord links in public places, but um, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I guess I'm rather neutral on this. I'm, we can we can talk about it during the EIP IP one. Okay, so now we've got uh, 1155. Wait, 1155. Oh, it's an extension. Okay. It's an extension. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have 1155 in the title, it's in the requires, that's good. Um, yeah, that all looks fine. This is just about 155. <laughs> like I see that they have a lot of mention of EAP 7 to 1 in the proposal, but they did not put it on request just to avoid it being blocked from moving ahead, right? Uh, 721 is final. I think it's 712 that is, isn't. That's, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. right. But, uh, now I think both of them are, no? Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so EPW will also catch links like these if they go to a non-final EIP. It doesn't have to be in the requires header. Okay. Yes. So it's truly unique. To represent. Okay.
People love putting motivation in the rationale section. <laughs> All the time. not throw. Yeah, I think that's pretty decent. Okay. What have we got in here? Is this really just fixing? Wow, okay. <laughs> it is from the same set of authors, no? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's. Uh, I think Pandapip just put up a replacement EIP that fixes a typo. Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, we discussed this in the EIP AP meeting, right? Oh, did we? If we yeah, I mean, like, uh, I think it was initiated by some other uh, user. Uh, he was uh, sharing concern that this proposal is in March. I mean, it's in final status, but it is not compatible with some section. So Panda Pape and Micah suggested we can probably have a new proposal, uh, which would be like uh, replacing this one. I mean, obviously it will not be replaced, but the way they want uh, things to be working with respect to seven to one, it should be there. Okay. Identical to 4,400. Okay, so what did they have? The, um, <laughs> it's really, Oh, somebody find and replaced and changed ERC to EIP. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay, so FA. So um, I think. Yeah, I think that's the only thing I want to note about this. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I think I, I missed the proposal there was 4907, not 4400. Like it, it has some inconsistencies with EIP 721. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Oh, no worries. Um, what was the, the number? 4907. 
mm -hmm. this one here yeah so this was the proposal okay okay let me share the link with you here in the chat oh i think th this is a different one yeah okay uh, yeah that's what i i thought it is it is the same proposal uh, but it was not okay yeah, i just wanted to make sure we are on recording so people don't get confused <laughs> okay okay so we're on to nft authorship A lot of reviewed comments or resolved comments. Integer, string for K. All right, let's take a look. All right. Hmm. That's a better way to write this. So well, whatever. Okay. So this document outlines the standard to provide off-chain information in JSON format regarding NFT authors. Okay. Okay. Oops, seven twelve, and that's the required. Yep, good. Okay, so do they mention 165 in here? They don't, so it's probably useful to add that. So let me check the rationale. So this seems okay off chain.
Okay. Seven twelve. Yeah, I mean, that seems pretty reasonable. Were there any other outstanding comments by... So what are we doing here? What's the difference? Oh, just adding a blank space. Um, does it render nicely? Yeah, it renders fine. I think I'm pretty okay with this. Let me just check the rest of the comments here, make sure there's nothing important. Sam, I received an update from the team and they are suggesting that you have been added to the editors mem EIP editor slash members group. So if you get a chance, maybe you can check on the permissions that we are looking for. Yeah, I can't I can't override um the required status check still. So I'm, I might not be in uh the right mode. Like I'm, I might not be an admin or, or something like that, but yeah, we can figure that out after. Okay. So that's just adding a blank space. I don't really care. Um, I also don't really care about that or that or that. Yeah, I think are all of these just adding blank spaces because they really don't care. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. All right. Well, connect silent signing. Okay. All right, let's give this a read through. Is Wallet Connect, um, I think both are capitalized, right? Like Wallet and Connect. Yeah, but I don't see, like, I don't know if they are people from the same organization. Yes, C is capital. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Okay. So this uh, this will be only working for Wallet Connect, or will it be working for any? I think it's just Wallet Connect. So then, why we are making it as a standard? Uh, I think Wallet Connect is like each wallet needs to implement the wallet connect protocol so it would be a standard okay yeah there's there are eips about it let me let me go and find it here wallet connect eip the whole thing has been standardized well maybe not the whole thing but uh hmm. yeah i guess there's only the one here wallet connect 
and this is of course interface category it is not for erc yeah um Well, it's protocol, blah, 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 personal sign. Yeah, I think that's a good point, um, I guess. I am wondering, like, I, I fully did not get the context here. I'm just trying to understand, is it a new field they are trying to introduce as Wallet Connect and that's why they have put it into running letter? Yeah, I think they just want to be able to say like, just sign anything for a period of time um, without having to ask for confirmations. Okay. Yeah. So. Yes. No, no, they are definitely referring to the Wallet Connect. Uh, yeah. App, DAP, yeah. I yeah. Read it. I read it now. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Panda Pipia. I get it. Oh, you think so? Okay. Um, Yeah, I think that is a good suggestion, like removing wallet connect from the name, maybe make it more generic than uh, the confusion that it is creating with having wallet connect in the name of the person. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really need to. All right. Ethereum notary interface. I assume this is good to review, right, uh, Gavin? Cool. Okay.
Is that not how you spell privity? I thought it was. And so you spell it, so. Um. Changing the EIP while I'm editing it, that's not very nice. Um, GitHub, come on. There we go. All right. Moving on to the next one. Semaphore for parallelizable reentrancy protection. I remember looking at this one recently. Okay, so do we still have problems from EPV? No? Okay. All right. No, I'm actually going to have to end this here. I have to get ready for my next meeting. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming to watch yeah. me edit EIPs. <laughs> thanks for making this happen, Sam. We'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.